another day, another lava flow. <laughs> uh, we're near Fisher 10. Just kind of checking it out, seeing if these cracks have gotten any worse. I haven't been by here in quite a while. And I got to say, some of these cracks have gotten wider. Yep. Definitely. This has changed a lot since last time I seen it. Definitely wider. The cracks and there's some new vegetation which is kind of interesting. Some plants are growing on the inside of these cracks. So that's kind of amazing. And they look like they're doing pretty good. I don't know what kind of plant it is. It's probably some kind of worthless weed or something. It looks fairly healthy. It's just growing in the crack right there. Yeah. So it's pretty voggy this morning. And yeah, just gotta make that jump. Careful. Yeah, that crack is, is widened. It's gotten bigger. I'm just amazed at all these little plants that are growing inside the crack. It's interesting. I have my gas mask on just to be safe. Because it is very boggy out here. Plant die off. It's kind of a lot of SO2. There's quite a bit of it. And here's a sulfur buildup or deposit or whatever you want to call it. Kind of interesting. And this is the end of Fisher 10. Right here. This is kind of where it ends. Right in this area. I think this was uh Some of the lava from Fisher 10 right here. And it's really hot. It's really hot. Wow, that's kind of hot right in there, I'd say. Yeah, there's some heat down in there. Interesting formation. The lava. Interesting. There's a lot of steam coming up, a lot of heat, a lot of fog. A lot of sulfur. I believe this is sulfur. I'm not a geologist or any kind of scientist. I believe this type of thing or whatever this would be is sulfur buildup. So it looks like the wind is going to pick up and blow all of this out of here. And in the morning, it seems to be worse. Oh, excuse me. 
uh, a little bit less wind in the morning but see it's already starting to clear up since the time I've been here it's about seven o'clock in the morning right now so you know, in another hour or so just it, it, it dies down a lot a lot of the vog for some reason it's just very consistent every day it'll die down about seven eight o'clock it won't be as much and the wind is definitely blowing it out of here you can see look at that it's already cleared up from the five minutes i've been here it's cleared up a lot okay so we're at fisher 10 we're looking down fisher 10 can't see much of it but trust me it's right in there It's seven o'clock and we are on Leilani Avenue. I'm gonna check out the river. It's not flowing as much as the other day and previous days that I've seen this river. It just doesn't seem like it's flowing as much. You can tell that it's not as high and doesn't seem like there's as much lava as previous days. Like a couple days ago that I was there. Oh, well, there's a there's a difference between the lava on the edges and the lava in the middle flows different, probably a different temperature. So there you go, lava river, Leilani. I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I want to thank you for all your well wishes and thoughts and prayers. I want to thank you for the comments. I want to thank you for subscribing and watching my videos and sharing my videos. Make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch it and tell me what you think. And until next time, a hooey ho. Booyah.